Good morning, everybody. Happy post-Thanksgiving weekend. My name is Reverend Kathleen Sibley. It is my joy to minister to you today. Things are a little different this morning than what we usually do because today we celebrate Tizay. So I'm going to start us off with a prayer, a little invocation, and then I will explain what's going to happen. Okay? So just join with me in consciousness right here and right now, knowing that what is coming is like the lighting of a candle from the eternal flame. What we burn away is that which is no longer useful to us, and what we allow is that light and that warmth that is spirit. So as we come together today in the name of love, in the name of oneness, and in the name of peace, I declare today the beginning of a whole new world, a world that works for everyone. We take the next steps today, celebrating all that has been and claiming the good that is coming. Knowing this to be the truth, I bless it all and call it good. And so it is. So normally I would be up here telling you all about how there's a purple form in the back of the seat in front of you. And, and that is for our prayer requests. I will be standing out by the box where you would put the, the completed prayer request or the completed demonstrated prayer stories um, after service. We will be having um, three-minute miracles after service. And so if that is something that you would like to experience, you just sit down here in the front, stare at all the pretty candles that will be lit by then. Bless you. And somebody will be with you as quickly as possible. We move, the, move out of the room in order to allow this space for the quietness of prayer. Normally, we'd be talking all about how practitioners celebrate birthdays as this is a birthday Sunday, but we're going to do that next week. So if you have friends that were born in the month of December, um, <laughs> please bring them next week so they can be celebrated. <laughs> this is a special service we do once a year. Tizay comes to us from the town of Tizay in Burgundy, France. And it was originally meant to pull together people of all different, who had been on different sides in World War II. Because that region had been really affected by the, the split in ideology. How perfect is that for today? So what we're doing today is coming together in an act of prayer, in an act of devotion, in an act of simply going within and calling on that divine being that is in the midst of you. This was a reconciliation service in its original form. What we know is that the best healing comes from recognizing our oneness because the only problem there is or will ever be is a belief in separation. And so we come here today to remember that we are one. And one of the most powerful tools we have for that is our form of affirmative prayer. This service is based around not just the idea of silence and chanting, but also taking you through the different steps of treatment. Now, I can teach anyone the steps of treatment. There's only five of them. It's really not hard. And as a matter of fact, the more simple you keep it, the better it works. Ernest Holmes told us that there are two parts of, science, of affirmative mind treatment. That's the technique, those five steps, and the fire. He said he could teach anyone the technique. He could teach no one the fire. You don't need to be taught that. You absolutely have that in you and it is yours to find within yourself. It's the emotion that wells up. It's that voice that comes to you out of the deep silence that we'll create here today. And so as we walk you through this, as we walk together through this actually, there will be times that are long in the silence. Please don't think that we have gone to sleep up here or that we've forgotten what we're doing. I have my timer next to me. We'll be leading you through all five steps. And your job is to receive and allow that experience to happen. 
to feel into it as deeply as you possibly can today. And so I invite you to begin to allow spirit to take possession of you, of all parts of you, even the parts you think no one would want. And that is how we do this service.
oneness is a sense of majesty. That place in us that touches all. From that sweet surrender state, stillness and no thingness arises. Where the me and the you blends, this is the oneness forming all. Can't you see the gates of heaven flung wide open every day? Feel the pull of glorious change to become something more beautiful. Inside us all, the power of love reaches out beyond yourself. Find a cause to give something more beautiful. Oneness is a sense of majesty. It thrills when we do feel it. The experience is a great opening. Our eyes open as God's eyes. Our ears open as God's ears. Our hearts open fully to love. Oneness is the majesty of love. Oneness is the majesty of love.
Well, our first step was recognition, recognizing what exists within the silence, that thing some people call God. Our next step is to recognize that if God is all there is, we must be one with that. And so we take that into our being using the the symbolism of light. And so I'm going to ask our candle people to come up. From the one come many. We are each individualized expressions of one divine being. And so as we claim our place in the light, I'll ask you to come up, receive a candle, and place your candle into the container, starting in the back. And you can put yours in there too, Kira. There'll be a chant that goes on as long as it takes us to fill the whole thing. So whenever you're ready, please come up and and take a candle.
mantra is something that is done in many, many different cultures. And today we're going to do one. We're not going to do all 108. You can breathe. We're going to go about halfway. The mantra that is recognized within many CSLs around the world is there's only one life, that life is God's life, that life is perfect, that life is my life now. It is the essence of the first two steps of treatment. And so I'll ask you to say it with me. If you trip over some of them, don't worry, the person next to you or somewhere in the room will be carrying it. And the ones that you get right, somebody else might trip over. And I will slow us down when it's time to come to an end. So you can do this with your eyes closed if you'd like. So please say with me now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. There's life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. Life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. Life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. 
That life is God life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. Life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is our life now. And so it is.
And now we have the opportunity to realize our good. And we can stand and say what we affirm. And after each person's prayer, we respond with, your prayer is my prayer too. And I'll begin knowing and affirming that the abundance of my life is mine right now as I co-create with the universe. This is my prayer too. I welcome you to stand and affirm your truth. Your prayer is our prayer, too. Your prayer is my 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 prayer 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 too. I pray for the healing of families, that they will all know the unity of the bond that holds them all together, that they see Christ in each other and affirm that together. Your, Your prayer, prayer is my prayer too. Your prayer is my prayer too. Your prayer is my prayer too. Your prayer is my prayer, too. Your prayer is my prayer, too. And for all the prayers that have gone unspoken, that are out in the world, that are in our hearts, that are in the room today, that are outside of this room. All these prayers and more, 
that they are already forming, that the world and universe is already lining up to create this world that works for everyone. Your prayer, Your prayer is my prayer too. At this time, I'm going to ask the ushers to come forward. By giving, we tell the universe that this is good, that this is what, more of what we want in our lives. And in the Christian scripture, it says, freely have you received, freely give. This is an act of thanksgiving, an act of gratitude for all the good that has come up already. It's also an act of blessing. And so we take our gifts and hold it in our hand and hold it to our heart. If this is not your week to give or you give online, I'll ask you to hold your hand over your heart, knowing that the gratitude can still go out. And so together we say the dedication of the offering. Divine love in and through me blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. Thank you, life. I am so blessed. I am 
Oh, blessed. 